This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Born Harbor cycle for magnesium chloride. So here we have the complete Born Harbor cycle for magnesium chloride. In a previous video, I went over each of the steps of the cycle. So here we'll just have a quick recap. Starting on the left with the enthalpy of formation, which is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states. Next we have the enthalpy of atomization, in which one mole of gaseous atoms is formed from an element in its standard state. Next is bond dissociation enthalpy or bond energy, which involves the breaking of one mole of bonds in the gaseous state. Next we have ionization energy, which is the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms. On the right we have the first electron affinity, which is the energy released when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms. And finally we have the lattice enthalpy in which one mole of a solid ionic compound is broken down into gaseous ions. So in this video we'll be calculating the enthalpy change of formation of magnesium chloride. In this table we have the enthalpy change values required to calculate the enthalpy change of formation for magnesium chloride. So they are the enthalpy of atomization of magnesium, the bond energy of chlorine, the first and second ionization energies for magnesium, the first electron affinity of chlorine, and the lattice enthalpy of magnesium chloride. Note that we could also use the enthalpy of sublimation for magnesium, which has the same value as the enthalpy of atomization. We could also use the enthalpy of atomization of chlorine, which we would have to multiply by 2 to equal the bond energy. So now we'll add the values to the born harbor cycle, starting with the enthalpy of atomization, which is 148 kilojoules per mole. Next we have the bond energy of chlorine which is 242 kilojoules per mole. Next we have the first and second ionization energies of magnesium. On the right we have 2 times the electron affinity of chlorine. We need to multiply this value by 2 because we need 2 moles of gaseous chloride ions. And finally we have the lattice enthalpy which is 2540 kilojoules per mole. So if we apply Hess's law, the enthalpy change of formation for magnesium chloride is equal to the atomization of magnesium plus the bond energy of chlorine plus the first and second ionization energies of magnesium plus two times the electron affinity of chlorine minus the lattice enthalpy for magnesium chloride. The reason we subtract the lattice enthalpy is because we are going against the arrow in the born harbor cycle. So next we'll calculate the enthalpy of formation. So as we saw previously, the enthalpy of formation is equal to the enthalpy of atomization plus the bond energy plus the ionization energy plus the electron affinity minus the lattice enthalpy. So that's 148 plus 242 plus the sum of 738 plus 1451 plus 2 times minus 349 minus 2540. And this gives us an enthalpy change of formation for magnesium chloride of minus 659 kilojoules per mole. 